So in this video, I, I actually want to turn this sketch into a manga style uh, background. And that means I'm going to be inking this and then uh, probably adding some type of uh, toning to it. But I could just as easily um, leave it monotone so it's just black and white. But I kind of want to add tones in this uh, background. So I'm just going to get started. Uh, I'm going to use this G Pen tool set in clip studio and uh, I'm just, just gonna start drawing uh, yeah so on the top left up here is my reference image and I just noticed that in the reference reference these pillars are coming are like connecting to each other instead of connecting to like the ceiling uh, inward they're like instead of going like this <laughs> instead of the way I drew it, I had them going like this inward into the hallway, but in the reference, they're more on the exterior of the uh, pillar, and so they're like connected to each other this way. So that's why I, I just want to kind of like fix that in this sketch before I start inking real quick. Okay, so I fixed it up a little bit more. I'm gonna start inking it now. So to create this in Clip Studio, I actually use the perspective tool. Uh, if you, if you want to go in create backgrounds and uh, use this perspective tool in Clip Studio. You just have to go to layer, uh, move this out the way. You gotta go to layer, and then go to ruler, and then create perspective ruler. And then it's gonna give you these options, one point perspective, two point, or three point. I chose one point perspective, and then it gave me this. It gave me this ruler. And you can adjust it however you want, but I'll probably, or I'm actually gonna create a more specific video on the ruler itself. But in this one, I just wanted to, I just wanted to create a background and um, ink it up and stuff. Show you how I do it. I'm actually going for a more manga style, where, like I said before, it's a uh, more black and white, either monochrome or uh, gray with, with tones, but. I think I actually want to do want to add tones in this, uh, but before I get there, I gotta ink it. So let's ink it real quick. Probably gonna start up here in the foreground with all the bushes and stuff. That's just, that's just gonna be easier to draw for now. Cause when I need when I need to get to these straight lines and stuff, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna use uh, the ruler. I'm gonna turn the ruler back on and use that. And here I put like a I drew like a little figure to. Uh, so that I can, uh, I could imagine the um, the uh, the depth of the image of the background with a character in it. But uh, I'm gonna create a new layer for the lines. Ink. All right, and then yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna start on these straighter lines. I'm gonna start on the uh, leaves first, just because. Because when I want to do these straight lines, I'm actually gonna put up the the uh, ruler again, so that way I can create those straight lines. <clears throat> now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually not gonna add, uh, or no, I'm gonna add tones. I'm not gonna add any gradients. So I'm imagining this uh, background is for a, a comic, a manga that is more monochrome. And so I'm not going to add any gradients. All the shading and stuff I do is going to be just with lines and uh, and with uh, what's it called tones. I think that's what you call a spade, a spade and grass. <laughs> I want to keep everything uh, pretty loose. Um, one thing I noticed in like manga and stuff is like, especially with like vegetation and stuff, they keep it pretty simple. So for like this bush down here, I'm just gonna use some hatching to imply the leaves and stuff instead of going in and trying to draw uh, every single leaf in the bush or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> that's one thing like manga artists really are really pretty good at is implying shape with, especially with vegetation, uh, implying that shape with cross hatching and stuff like that. And that's one thing I wanna 
get better with myself and so that's why I'm doing this uh, practicing this background drawing In. So I'm 40 minutes into this drawing. Uh, I'm, I like how it's coming out so far. Uh, I've just been working on the vegetation right now just because uh, <laughs> I'm having fun drawing it right now. Uh, but as you saw in that time lapse, um, I, I actually added some leaves in and stuff down here. And uh, I kind of wanted to, wanted to give this background more of an overgrown type of vibe. Uh, I feel like people are going to be traveling through here, characters are still going to be traveling through here, but like they've just let it, uh, let the vegetation grow and kind of like take over. Uh, but I don't want to add too much uh, because I still want it to be, to feel like it's uh, habitable, uh, people travel through here. And one thing that would help with that is by adding like a character walking down the stairs or something, or coming down the stairs, just walking past this. That would that would be pretty cool, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that in this drawing just because I want uh, to focus on the background itself. I I might be able, I might do that later, but for now I just wanna stay focused on this background, uh, drawing the stairs and these pillars, and uh, going to the actual toning of this as if it was a manga page. So I'm just gonna keep working on it and. I'll be back with an update. Uh, I guess I won't be back. I guess I'll time lapse it. <laughs> yeah, I'll time lapse it and then I'll be back to talk about it a little bit more. day I uh, finished this uh, inking up I finished inking the background up now what I want to do is actually show you how to add tones and how I go about it uh, like I said I, I'm going for a more manga style so what I want to do is add some Tony in here uh, to <coughs> I want to add some Tony to uh, work as shading for this instead of adding gradients and stuff so let's see. All right, so to add a, a uh, tone, I usually go up to this material section and go to all, all materials and go down here to monochromatic patterns, basic, and then I usually choose one of these. But instead, I think I'm gonna actually just do, go up here to layer, new layer and new tone layer. Like that, all right, and then let's see. I'll bump up the density a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, so before I actually add the tone in, I'm actually gonna select the area I want to be in shadow and with shade. So this area, this area, this one. And I can always delete it. But all right, so now I've selected it. I'm going to drag in, let's see, 
just some dots. Or I think let me try that other one again. Layer, layer. Um, okay, and I have everything selected now, so let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's better. There we go. Yeah, before I didn't actually do that, so now I actually added the uh, tone in where I wanted it instead of just all on the entire canvas. <coughs> And so what's cool about adding tones to uh, your image in Clip Studio is if you take uh, a brush and then you're on the tone layer, you can actually uh, color in the tone with that brush. You just gotta make sure you're on that layer. And you have this black box selected down here. So now I can go in and just add the tone in wherever I want. I kinda want it to be in this whole area up here like this something like that because I want this to be in shade but that's pretty much it for this background as far as a manga style I'm happy with how this came out so far uh, after I get the tones in I'm pretty much done and uh, I like how it came out I really do Adding the tones underneath the uh, the hatching already is looking good, so I'm gonna keep that. And instead of having this whole area shaded uh, with the tone, I'm gonna grab my eraser tool, enlarge it, and just like cut away at it to make uh to, to suggest like light is coming in to this area, so something like this. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. I like that. And I can go back to that marker tool and just color in the rest of what I want right there. I'll do that for the same. But yeah, that's all. That's all for this video. Uh, I just wanted to create, show you how I create a manga style background in Clip Studio, you, just using the ink tool. And uh, I'm I'm happy with how this came out. Uh, I'm definitely gonna uh, work on that a little bit more, but uh, for now this is pretty good. It looks pretty good.